CrunchBang is a Debian GNU Linux-based distribution offering a great blend of speed, style, and substance using the Nimble Open Box Window Manager. It is highly customizable and provides a modern, full-featured GNU Linux system without sacrificing performance. I had one of my viewers request that I uh, do a review on this. So we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. All right, let me uh, tilt this down a little bit. Okay, I had a chance to play around with this, and this looks kind of neat. Now, um, one thing I would like to note that this is based on Debian and not on Ubuntu. So I recommend having a little bit of more experience with playing with this because I do believe that this pulls off of a uh, off of Debian's repositories. But if you have experience with Ubuntu and Debian, then definitely uh, check this out. Now, the nice thing about this operating system, though, it is a modern operating system that came out earlier this year. Um, this will run beautifully on older computers, but it's also great for uh, newer computers as well. And the nice thing about OpenBox is that you can really tweak and hack this thing and make it perform and look the way you want it to. You can also do some compositing and effects with it as well. I'm not going to really go into all of those details here. I just want to show you what you get. This is a nice lightweight operating system. So let's go ahead and uh, have a look here. Okay, first, to uh, navigate around, you will need to right click on the desktop. You can select to run a program, for instance. You can run terminal. And I like what they did with this. It actually uh, has your existing wallpaper as the uh, terminal. And uh, this has an older kernel this is running. Well, I'm showing this is running 2.6.32. Hyphen 5. Now I'm running the AMD 64 bit flavor, but you can also get this in a 32 bit flavor as well. And I saw on DistroWatch it was an i486, 686, and uh, 64 bit. So there's three different flavors that you can get on this. It's an older kernel though, so uh, some hardware may not work. Okay, let me go ahead and close this, and then we'll continue through the tour here. The web browser that you get is the Chromium web browser. A lot of people really like this one. Personally, I would go for go with Firefox. You also get a file manager, and uh, this is based on the XFCE. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but it'll tell me here. The Thunar. Yes, it's the uh, XFCE desktop environment. This uses uh, the file manager from that. It's very nice, intuitive, and easy to use. Okay, moving right along here. You get a simple text editor, it's G-Edit of course. And then you get the VLC media player. In accessories you get the Catfish file search. Very common in Ubuntu based distributions as well. You get an archive manager. I can't think of a Linux distro that doesn't have an archive manager already pre-built. Uh, I already mentioned G-Edit G text editor. You get the Terminator terminal. Let's have a look at that. I think this is the one that lets you have uh, four terminals in one. Yeah, you can split. You can split terminals and that sort of thing. Kind of cool, especially if you're running several different uh, commands and that sort of thing. You want to uh, run one command in your top terminal and it may take a while to run. Then you can run a second one in another terminal. Pretty pretty nifty. Okay, yeah, we'll close those terminals. All right, let's see what else you get here in accessories. 
Uh, we already went over the Thunar file manager, but you can also run that as root. That way you can make changes to your system files. Just remember, Linux automatically assumes that you know what you're you know what you're doing. With power comes responsibility, so be careful when you're playing as root, hey? Okay. All right, and then in graphics, you get the GIMP! That's right, all the power of Photoshop. You have that there. You've got the View Noir image viewer. You can take a screenshot, and I really like this. They actually created a menu for this. You can take that screenshot now in five seconds, in 10 seconds, a selected area. But what if I wanted to take a screenshot in an hour? <laughs> you get the VLC media player, volume control, and XF burn for burning your CDs and DVDs. Good stuff there. And of course in network you get the Chromium web browser, the GFTP client. You also get the transmission BitTorrent client, XChat IRC client, and the Hey Buddy microblogging client. In Office, there is a link to OpenOffice.org, but it is not installed. But if you decide you don't really need it, you're just doing word processing and maybe editing a spreadsheet, it's here. You get the Abbey Word word processor, processor my favorite word processor actually, and then you get the uh, Numetric spreadsheet. You get a calculator and a PDF viewer. Not too bad. And the thing is, this file wasn't that large to download. I think it was under 400 megs, come to think of it. So, not bad. Not too shabby at all. Okay, and then it gives you a listing of your recent files, uh, a, quick, a quick way to get to all of the places. Uh, you can install Dropbox if you use that. And then, of course, you can go into settings. Uh, you can go, you can enable the uh, XComp Manager. Uh, there is a conky configuration so that you can go in and edit that. A D menu, GM run, open box configuration, terminator configuration, tint to panel configuration, display settings, notifications, edit default applications, user interface settings, power management, screen saver, or choose wallpaper. And system, you can set up your uh, printing support, and then of course, Gparted, bar none, the best uh, partition tool I have seen in Linux, and uh, I use it all the time. Great tool. You can set up your GDM login, and then of course you have access to the Synaptic Package Manager. This is the only package manager that this comes with, so if you're using Ubuntu, or its derivatives and you are already accustomed to the Synaptic Package Manager, this is the same thing. It doesn't have like a uh, fancy schmancy software center. Cut and dry, find it and download it and install it. And then of course uh, there are some help files to frequently ask questions, tips, scripts and tricks, theming guide, and then you have links to the Crunchbang homepage, wiki, forums, blog, and planet. And then you also have Openbox homepage documentation, frequently asked questions, getting started in the community portal. I have not tried Openbox yet. I, I don't know why I haven't even bothered to do that. So, you know, I might actually take some time, if I ever find any free time, and... Uh, actually have a look at this and because I understand a lot of people like it and uh, just see what kind of things we can do with that. Then of course we can lock screen or exit. All in all, very nice lightweight looking operating system, highly configurable and uh, something that would be really good to use on a netbook computer or if you have an older computer but then again you know, if you just have a need for speed and you just want a lightweight operating system that is fast and snappy, Crunch, Crunchbang Linux is the way to go. If you thought this review was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also, catch me on Facebook and Twitter. The uh, instructions are found easily on my channel. 
Also, I'm using bulletins now to keep you up to date on everything that's coming up rather than making a video on that. Uh, be sure to tell your friends about Spatry's Cup of Linux, especially your Windows and Mac friends. Let them know there is a really cool alternative out there that they can run alongside their uh, operating systems. Thank you once again for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.